small tribes meet every day, every week, in our cities, on our streets. Too many stories stay stored away in heads and read. The fun starts when we realise we're worth more than idealised internet avatars and closed doors. Life begins when the latch clicks. Shoes press onto concrete steps of reality and we capture that chance to be ourselves again. There's nothing better than witnessing the quiet unfurling of a butterfly's wings. Life is messy. We're made out of so much clutter. But this is the era of upcycling. We're creative beings. So fetch the glue, start sticking, and picking the stitches we've sewn around our tongues while unkept promises begin to peel off. Like, why do we fill our bookshelves with essays when reading is fun? And why pressure ourselves into 10,000 steps when we can just run? Sometimes community is the key to becoming unlocked. No longer alone, no longer boxed up. Small tribes meet every day, every week, in our cities, on our streets. Life is a clean page, an open mic stage, a shooting star swirl of emotions before the first drum beat plays. Now, true blue shines through like that explosion of sky, only visible from the small square window of a plane. <laughs> Maybe people are the same. I guess we all need to feel heard. Need the heat from each other's words to light the touch paper of self-confidence, enabling us to become us. Small tribes meet every day, every week, in our cities, on our streets. Too many stories are stored away in heads unread but these clubs exist to remind us no one really grows out of playing TIG. And it doesn't matter if we're 100 or six. We should laugh till we cry. Sing till the rivers of our words run dry. Collect everything. One-liners, scraps of material, personal bests, a list of favourite guest speakers. Unflattering photos from warm summer evenings. Some friendships are conducted in silence, wide-eyed with amazement at the sudden flash of a kingfisher. Some friendships are formed during deep concentration. Night to F3 and some are made on bitter Tuesday evenings screaming for a penalty. Small tribes meet every day, every week, in our cities, on our streets. These groups consist of storytellers, passing their narratives down to us. And we might only have joined last week, but we've already been told who makes the best scones and about that legendary night out in 1981. We might only have joined last week, but we're already part of a team, determined to keep these little acts alive. And this is why medieval weaving still thrives in an old Tudor terrace two minutes from the multiplex and why foxes run freely past placards and smiles. Small tribes meet every day, every week, in our cities, on our streets. We're adopted descendants of skaters, of scouts. We're flocks of dreamers, congregations of change makers, choirs of food tasters, dynasties of travelers and happiness chasers. We're creatives and walkers, dancers and talkers. We're watchmakers' daughters. 
and this is our time. On these streets, we shine. So grab your knitting needles and your running shoes. Choose to undo the latch. Step onto the welcome mat. Sing that song you don't know the words to. Because there's nothing better than witnessing the quiet unfurling of a person's wings. <laughs>